One of the historic places of Assam, Sipsagar is located 362 kilometers away from the Guwahati city. This popular town of Assam is set amidst the rich and diverse biodiversity surrounded by many historic attractions. Sipsagar is popular for its Ahom monuments and places which are a work of excellence. We encountered Namdang Stone Bridge as we proceed to Sipsagar. Namdang Stone Bridge is a historic bridge located a few kilometers away from Sipsagar town in Assam. It was constructed in 1700 AD by craftsmen brought from Bengal during the reign of Ahom King Rudra Singha. The bridge is 60 meters long, 6.5 meters wide and 1.7 meters high. It was over the Namdang River, a tributary of the river Diho. The present National Highway 37 is passing over it. The unique characteristics of the bridge is that it was cut out from a single solid piece of rock. The bridge is a little curve in shape. The historic Rudrasagar Naupukhuri spreading over an area of 100 Pura is about 9 kilometers west direction from Sipsagar town. North bank of Naupukhuri is covered by National Highway number 37. The dole was built by Lakhi Singha and was constructed during the periods of Swagodyo Gorinath Singha. The man-made tank was excavated by the Ahom King Swagodyo Rudra Singha in the memory of his mother Jaimati at Rangpur. Historical records reveals that the tank was constructed in 45 days at Rangpur in 1697. It is the largest man-made lake in India and stands on an area of 318 acres, half of which is underwater. On the northern side of the tank, there are five temples of which Zoidal is considered as most sacred. Zoidal is also known as Sri Keshavarai Vishnudol. The construction to the south of the Zoidol is Bhokkar. The Ranghar is a two-storied building that once served as the royal sports pavilion where Ahom kings and nobles were spectators at games like buffalo fight and other sports at Rupohi Pathar particularly during the Rangali Bihu festival in the Ahom capital of Rangpur. It is 3 kilometers away from the center of the Sipsagar town. Said to be the oldest surviving amphitheater in Asia, the building was constructed in 1746 during the reign of Sargadeo Brahmatta Singha. The roof of the Rangar is shaped like an inverted royal Ahom boat. The base of the monument has a series of art entrances while the top of the roof sits a decorative pair of carved stone crocodiles. The Talatalgar is located in Rangpur, 14 km from present day Sipsagar in Upper Assam. Of all Ahom reigns, it is the one of the grandest examples of Thai Ahom architecture. The Talatalgar is also the largest of all Thai Ahom monuments. This historical monument was built by Sargadeo Rajeshwar Hingha during his reign. There is an eight-cornered temple west of this monument. The roof of its first floor is open and rooms are designed as Assam-type buildings. The super parallel rooms of this monument resemble the Mughal architecture. Each of its room is connected to another with a small part. Many of the arc entrances have retained little more than their brick framework with mere vestiges of sculptural adornments here and there. The Ahoms, who use special team baked bricks, did not use cement but a paste of rice and egg as mortar for their construction. A pulse of coal matima and a fish named Boralimas in Assamese. 
the Tolatol Ghar had two secret underground tunnels. One about three kilometers in land connected to the Tolatol Ghar to the Dikho River while the other 16 kilometers long lead to Gorgaon Palace. The Golaghar or the ammunition storehouse of Ahoms is situated near the Tlatal Ghar in Sipsagar district of Assam. Architecturally, it is a dochala rectangular, hut-shaped brick structure. Built by Sragadur Singha in 1704, the Golaghar is still undamaged. Situated at Gorgaon, the Karanghar is around 15 km away from Sipsagar town. Karanghar is the remain of the royal palace of Ahom kings when Gargaon was the capital of the kingdom. Gargaon was the principal seat of the Ahoms for more than four centuries. The chronicle sources refers that Suklen Mung, the 15th Ahom king, established the capital at Gargaon and constructed a palace with wood and other impairments material in the year 1548. Later, King Pramatta Singha constructed a brick wall and masonry gateway in the capital complex. The present multi-storied edifice was built by King Rajasthra Singha in 1752 AD. The royal complex was badly damaged and disfigured due to the procurement of raw materials for building from the moment. The structural remains of the royal complex stands as a mute testimony of the Ahom kings of the bygone days. The monument is a four-story building and is arranged in gradually residing times. The top floor has a stone-like row with a chamber. It has four watchtowers originally of which now only two can be seen. The ground floor has three west-facing halls and is provided with a front and rear chamber. The palace was well secured by canals dug around it. They build walls on the bank of the canal with soil which is called Gar in the local language. The place was named Gargaon after the huge Gar. People believe a secret underground tunnel from Karangar to Tolatol Ghar in Rangpur which is many kilometers away from this and across the Riko river. The Sipsagar tank was built by Queen Ambika, wife of King Shiva Singha in the year of 1734 and named it after her husband. The city of Sipsagar does derive its name from this historic tank. It is the second largest man-made lake in Assam after nearby Zoysagar tank. The tank is built on an area of around 130 acres. It was originally 64 feet in depth. The embankment of this tank is artificial and raised the surface of the water to a height of around 40 feet from the surrounding plain. Sipsagar Sibodol is a group of structures comprising three Hindu temples of Sibodol, Vishnudol and Devidol. These are located on the bank of the Sipsagar tank is also known as the Bor Pukhuri in the heart of the Sipsagar town. The temple was constructed by Queen Ambika, the wife of King Sivashingha. The height of the Sibodol is 104 feet and the perimeter is 195 feet at the base. It is crowned with an 8 feet height or golden dome known as the Kolosi.